this here, these two, um, let's call them cubby holes, are my stuff that I don't use regularly or do not want to be really that accessible because I can only fit so much in, in my space and so these are stored there most of them I don't use frequently so they're just here but not I use them um, enough times in the year to not be sent down to the basement something like that so I have two holes here this is actually three that stack together stack on top of each other but the last one this one is for my kids toys and you can see that is supposed to be inside my cubby hole but looks like somebody played with it so this is my kids um, play kitchen let's just move it aside so we can access oops we can access so there so you have here two um, organizers and in case you're interested this is that one I opted to get the one that flips open instead of a drawer type like this one where you pull it out because back when my husband and I got these um, drawers organizers we were living with my in-laws and we had really a really small space for things like if the entire um, length of these were the drawers like you couldn't pull the entire drawer out because we had such limited space so I opted for something that just, you know, flips open like that and we got these and I just really love it, to be honest. And so on these two levels, the way I segregated my things are, uh, according to frequency, this one I access like at least once a month. Sometimes I access them more than once a month, but you know, at least once a month I get something from this, um, grow, let's call them cubby holes I get one from this cubby hole and then this one is like more infrequent but at least more than uh, a few times a year so they're all here and let's explore what's inside and the logic behind why the stuff that are in here are more frequent than the one on top is because when I set up my system for working this one and my shelf there actually blocks the opening of this one and what i love about this actually was and let me just show you it show you in this one is it you can do like that and this leaves that hole open but obviously i can't do that with this one because it's blocked by my work setup so this envelope here let's just take out everything this envelope here is all of my pen pal stuff so that I received from my pen pals and some that I'm planning to send out envelopes and stuff so I just put them all in that one envelope so for ease of access and here are some of my other stuff these are unsorted stuff that I got and so unsorted I haven't sorted through them and some other stuff that I want to keep so these are like my local ink pads and I haven't I, I did a video about them um, this year I comparing them so I have like all of these stuff here and also ink pads that that I am no longer using or just you know keeping aside and also some other stuff but most of these are like ink pads and some planner stuff that I could give away if someone wants them actually so I'm not using them as much and this box I really like it it's from a from a planner subscription box there and then I have this box here which is for like projects that are not yet finished it's just there and this bag here do you have oh these are some of my extras and it's dark so you can't see but it, this house is like all of my extra stuff that I could give away to my pen pals or just put them in here so that I could give away and also stuff that I'm keeping for later so many stuff in here and trash apparently 
so I have like my spare glue stick here and some velcros for crafting some plastic packaging plastic packaging for mails and just a lot of stationary stuff and envelopes need to be there so a lot of my spare stuff are here some of these I can give away to my pen pass and I have a lot here so let's not go over them one by one and then I have here like an old sticker album let's just flip through quickly I have a separate video for this discussing this I think two years ago how I made this so there so it's just some stickers that I stuck on to a special kind of paper it's very smooth and what I did was I took stickers and put repositionable glue on them so that uh, they would stick again so it's easy to stick them here and unstick and they usually like pack them together like that so it kind of turns them into sticky notes so that I can take them out in the future so that is that sticker album and this box i'm not gonna take it out but these are other planner goodies that i have so when i attend like planner meets and stuff all of those things are still inside and i'm still contemplating if i'm gonna give them away but for now i'm just holding on to them and then he, i just and then here are bags and let's just let me just scoot over so i can show you this is my heat embossing bag let me show you real quick what's inside so heat embossing is when you heat like plastic very high and you heat plastic so that it melts and it usually gives you like a foiled glittery effect depending on what um, embossing powder you use so i am using this bag this is actually an underwear traveler bag and like so these are like your holes for your underwear your panties and your, this is for like for your bras and then other stuff here so in these i put my mica powders my perfect pearls and also my ink pad it's here somewhere yeah here so i use this for embossing so i use this for stamps so that i can emboss my stamps oops can't put it and then I have more mica powders here in these pockets. And then these pocket, this pocket holds most of my brushes, um, my embossing pens, and yeah. So there. And I also have this spoon that I use to scoop my embossing powders. And then my embossing powders I transferred to boxes like these and then i just took out the sticker for the label and i like transferring them here because it's easier to emboss it's less messy so i just grab my spoon emboss and then like put the powder on and then try to put it back again in the container and it's easier rather than those cylinders uh, that they come normally come in with and then i have here my anti-static tool and this is like the baby powder I used to use before I have I bought the anti-static tool. Sometimes I still use it. And then my heat gun. And then let's go back here. We have this box. Let's do that last. Let's do this one first. Which is my very humble collection of alcohol markers. I got I can't remember where I got this bag I think I got it from Japan home um, or Daiso but I really like that it's see-through so I can see what's inside this bag I got from Shopee this one I got from Japan home I think and it's or probably National Bookstore now that I think about it I think it's National Bookstore and it's just um, my alcohol markers the curricular ones are actually my sister's when she was back in uni because she took up industrial design 
still has her name uh, there and there so that's hers and they're still working so I asked her if I could have them she said yes because she's not going to use them anyway and then these are the cheap alcohol markers from Daiso that I chanced upon like before the pandemic started or before we had we were we went on lockdown so I'm like really happy I got that and I wish they had more colors and then last is this box that I tried to decoupage with old paper but I'm too lazy to finish this is actually just a box of a box that I received I think I bought a pen and it came in this box it was shipped through LV LBC and let's just open it in there so these are the cylinders that my embossing powders came in and I moved my wax seal beads in them because I think they look prettier but there's too much beads that the excess I put in the like this containers and I, just, I have a lot of these I like using these small containers for a lot of things and also because this makes them more compact and fit my my box and then I have here my wax seals my tea candle for um, this um, heater that I have a friend gifted this to me and then I have this pen and the brush oops, that I use for um, lighting up or adding embossing or adding dimension to the embossing and I use this glitter for that and this contains my lighter and my letter K wax seal got this from scribe actually Oh, and I have like a few wax seal heads that I got. So, there. So, there. That is this hole. Cubby hole. Okay, next is this top um, cubby hole. And let's just try and open it there. And it actually just houses my not so commonly used stuff so this is like aluminum foil for sharpening my punctures some felt for projects and these are like placemats for flat lay this is a die cut that i bought that i can't use because i don't have the proper place for it and these are my old um gelatos that i barely use and What's this? Oh, my reed diffuser. And a bag. It's a craft bag. And inside are other bags. There. So, bags that I can use when I want to put my stuff in bags. And what else? We have here some um, string. And these are ribbons. And these are like random stuff from planner meets before and old pens that I'm not using but still have ink they have here some acrylic paint because I wanted to try it but I don't I'm not confident enough so they're just hanging in there in some containers actually a lot of stuff here are containers and then we have here some um, beads and um, sequins for and some like googly eyes for projects shakers and whatnot and then over there that box contains my oops my ink refills for my ink pads my what do you call these ink pads distress inks so i got some inkers and they're all in there and what else is in here like boxes some empty vials and syringes and stuff like that I won't be using anytime soon this so I have like two boxes inside or two baskets inside this basket only has like containers containers upon containers upon containers so just because I like reorganizing my stuff so sometimes I would take out some of my old containers and put my stuff inside so and then like swap them out from time to time so that's where I put them and yeah so that's the second gubby hole
So now we're moving to the main area of my craft room and like hi, you can see me. So I have like two monitors, a uh, laptop, second monitor, and my keyboard and mouse so that I can like put it near me while I'm working. And my headset stand where the headset I'm wearing usually sits when I'm not using it. And this is my shelf for the things that I use the most. So let's just go near it for a while. There. So you have here my bullet journal, my work bullet journal, my social media planner, and this is like my um, daily homely book. Um, my kids school planner, my sticker album, my fate journal, and lecture divina that I'm doing with my friends. And we have here some pens. So this is like my everyday pens. And we have here like two pen cases. Oopsie. This one is my paper mate flare set of 36, I think. And these are my colored pencils. And then I have here my scrubbing pad for stamps. And here is a stamping kit. Like a letter kit for like labeling stuff. And let's just put this back or actually let's just take it out because it's hard to put back okay and here I have my mini altar this um, Christ the Redeemer figurine is something that my friend gifted me way way back I can't remember what year but we were supposed to go to the World Youth Day, it was a dream of mine, it's a childhood dream of mine, but I couldn't go because, well, I wanted to go and my two best friends, uh, by virtue of being my best friend, and we were very uh, working on a lot of things at church, decided that they wanted to go too, like, we'll all try, all three of us, and I backed out because I couldn't. I was new in my job and I couldn't leave it and I needed to race and like if I stop working I don't have money to buy for my tickets and all that stuff so it's like it wasn't for me and I lamented it so much because I knew it was the last time I could join because I was getting married I was also planning to get married by, uh, by that time so I was starting to save money for it so she got me this. It was in Rio. So she got me this when they got back. And it broke so many times already. And see, I just put it back with blue. And then this is um, my weed diffuser. And I need to refill it soon. I don't like it having a very strong scent. So I always like keep the scent up to here. Just refill it every few days. And then this is like a coaster, a very old coaster from Land Banks and it's one of their anniversaries. So story behind this is that they have like this anniversary box. And I remember this picture, probably I was in elementary when this was released. My mom just kept it, didn't touch it, didn't touch the cards, this one. And then um, she gave the box to me when I was... When I gave birth to my son, my eldest, and I haven't used it until now. So I don't know how old this is. I think this, I don't know, probably 20 plus years old. I don't know. And then this is my box of, so this is like an acrylic box. And it's just it just has my sticky notes, a bookmark, my stamp cleaner, stamp cleaning kit, or stamping kit rather, a few rulers. So anything that I just need. So sticky notes and small notepads are in here so that I could just quickly grab it. And then moving on, I have an alcohol bottle there and my hair ties are in there when it's hot and an electric fan to keep me cool because it's very hot here in the Philippines. This is my second bookshelf. Back there where you see pens are pens that I don't uh, normally use but are just there in case I need them. I have two lamps that I use when I need to and I have this Miniso acrylic um, drawers that I use to store mostly pens but also random bits and bobs 
and I have there my menstrual cup. Um, let's just flip so you can see the design there. Yay! And then I have like these four um, small boxes, like small mega boxes. Um, that houses my sticker flakes. So they're currently stored this way. I'm still thinking if I would change how they are stored. But for now, they're like that. And so I have here some more. Like these are usually like st small stickers and cards for my business. Back then, that's my pencil. I just changed my pencil to a new one. And it couldn't, I can't fit it here. Or actually, I think I can now. There. So there, and these are like some what's inside like scissors and some random bits and bobs. So these two are not writing materials, but here I have my my paper made flares that are ultra fine. I have my precision tip bottles and some refills. Also my white paint pens are in there. And then this one has all my mild liners. This one has all my Zig Clean Color Build Brush pens. And this one has all my fountain pens that are not in rotation. And then going down, you have here my ink vial boxes. So they're just there. And here is a notepad and two journals that I upgrade, update. And I have your stamp cleaner. I just bought these and an ink pad that I'm not no longer using but I don't know what to do with so I'm just putting it there and this is my old keyboard and mouse I just replaced it my old portable keyboard and mouse which is the replacement for this one because this one is just not working out for me I'm planning on selling that because I barely used it and some stickers and stuff that I could use for Decorating my bullet journal and my planner, so they're just there so that I could easily grab it. And here's my second bookshelf with some of my old books, old bullet journals, and some journals that I'm trying out, like uh, local journals that are easy to source, so that I could, like, if I have a new pen or something, I could test it in these journals and show it to you guys. And this is like a prayer book. This is, um, just Catholic prayers actually so there and let's go over here because oh this is my trash can that I put here and then let's go over here this one is my fountain pen cleaning cleaning kit and on top are boxes of my electronics let's just put them away um, so I have like syringes inside a rubber grip and a bulb syringe anything and everything that I use for cleaning and maintaining my fountain pens are all in here I haven't organized it in a while and so there's all a mess inside but at least it's contained this is my ephemera um, clear box I'm contemplating if I'm gonna show it to you or not probably should yeah just a quick flip through and I had to put arrows on the side so that I know how it should stand because if I don't, all the ephemeris will drop. But this is how it looks like inside. So this is just like your normal clear book and then I took my soldering iron. So for those of you who are familiar with electronics would know what that is. Uh, so it's what, what you use to burn lead to combine like electronic parts so I just used that to make my own pockets inside so I have all of my ephemeris there most of them this is how I sort them and I will show you this in a different video if you want let me know in the comments if you want to see how I sort my ephemeris and I'll do a flip through and show you how to do it because I still have more space at the back so I can show you how to make those pockets. Let me know in the comments what you think. This is my old pencil case that I haven't taken out the tag because I was planning on giving it away or selling it and I ended up using it and I just didn't bother removing the tag. 
And then this plastic here actually contains a lot of bits and bobs that I haven't sorted through yet. I should get through sorting them soon. Um, but I don't know. And then you have here my cuttle bug, which is a manual die cutting machine. And here I have my cleaning rag. Over there are my fountain pen inks. And what's this? This is trash. And then uh, that one are my Monster Hunter stamps that my husband gifted to me three years ago, I think, for our anniversary. And it's really cute. And I usually take that out when I play with my kids. So we stamp it on manila paper or other paper and I've used it to actually wrap our Christmas presents or birthday presents with and then under that is I wonder if I could turn on the light so you can see there so you can see some spray bottles in there that is actually my watercolor some of the watercolor experiments that I did so like spraying um, spray kind of watercolor i mixed water and my oops my reinkers and added some shimmer on some of them and it's like it's just a really fun project to do my kids can't spray that well yet so i haven't introduced that kind of art with them but it's really really fun to do and if you have like watercolor resist it's so fun to use so there and so that's that section and let's move on to this one which is my shelf so I have here on top three baskets and it kind of bugs me that this one is this way and that one is not but uh, that aside so oh let's do this one first the one on top is my watercolor um, it's heavy my watercolor basket so in this basket i have my stamps my rubber stamps wooden wood mountain stamps i usually buy this second hand or um this as the stash because these are quite pricey and i don't want to pay full price for them anyway the quality does not dwindle with use or it doesn't um doesn't depreciate that much so I have here this background stamp, some alphabet stamps, and some of them I won, like this one. I won that, and this one is one of my first stamps actually. I got this in National Bookstore. This is like your usual generic ones that at least four years ago was very common. Usually it comes in this plastic mount that looks like wood, but that one's part of my first stamps. And this one I got as the stash, which I love to use for labeling. And then this one is full of my cutting and sticking uh, material. So you'll see different punchers, cutters, and some different kinds of glue in there and tape. So, and then here are some of my stickers and some other stuff that I use for journaling and for my pen pals. So all of them are just there and they're really accessible to me. And then this second layer, this one aside, is I just put the put this here because I don't like it on my it takes a lot of space on my table. We'll talk about that later. But this one here are my stamps. Uh I have like three three of them here. One, two, and three are my cling stamps oh not cling stamps clear stamps some of them are photopolymers some of them are just acrylic it's a combination of that and i have among these three um, acrylic trays that i got from japan home by the way are uh, they are divided into four categories this one here the first one the first half of it is my bullet journal um stamps or icon stamps stuff stuff that i can use for my everyday bullet journaling because i um, a fun functional planner even if I put decoration so my decoration are all functional so all of those are here and at the back I have my florals and um, plants and stuff and then this one is the generic ones a cute and unthemed um, 
stamps. Some of them I also use for bullet journaling like these Love Cynthia stamps because these are like girls doing something. So all of that, it's the entire tray is full. It's um mostly those are st stuff that I don't have a category for like because they're too few. Like I have like two stamps that are animals or stuff like that or happy birthday. And so all of them are just there. And then this last one here are vintage themed and this one takes a full box i have a lot of vintage themed stamps because that's this kind of stamp that i started collecting aside from the bullet journal or the planner stamps these are the second ones that i um collected and then the last here are my ink pads and i know you've seen me pop them in different videos when i need them so i have these um Trays. These are also from Japan Home. Uh, I see use these trays for my ink pads. And I have a longer one here at the bottom. Let's just take these out here. And I have my different teardrop shaped ink pads, and they're all throughout there. And I need more space. So I need to buy another one like this so I could store my stamps. And so there. Bottom layer are for my washies like these three are washies and then at the bottom there is my stuff for my die cut machine and also my cutting tools and punch boards and um stamping press let's just take this out so you can see let's see here so this one is my envelope punch board can make different kinds of ele uh, envelopes and this one is a small um, scoring board this one is a cut up piece of board that I use for watercoloring it's cut up because when I broke my wrist my husband made a splint out of this but I use this for um, embossing or for watercoloring I put I tape it here and this is my stamping press and how this works is that you put your stamp here and you put your paper here and this is like magnetic and I put some washi tape on the magnets there so it's easy to grab and so you, and then you just put the stamp and then you close it and then it makes um, making a lot of usually for card making it makes it a lot easier also you can um, go over your the stamped image multiple times and it's gonna be like precise every time and then here are where this is where you're gonna laugh at me all of these are actually trimming um, paper trimmers so this is um, a trim and score and this one is a well a fist cars one this is a cry cut one and this one is also a Fiskars one so I have all of those don't ask me why I have so much I just really love cutting materials that is my embossing oh no embossing well you can use it for embossing for foiling rather but that is my laminating machine and let me show you one of these so this is how I store my washi tapes uh, you can buy this acrylic not acrylic plastic cases from japan home they currently retail for 138 pesos but um they used to be just 88 pesos so 88 and then 99 now, now they're 138 after the the train law passed anyway so that's how i store them i have three boxes and they're all full and the stuff in that bag that i showed you a while ago those have a lot of washies and I have nowhere to put them so that's why they're still there in that bag let's put everything back and then there are two more layers racks underneath and uh, but you can't see them because of this one but it's mainly my what do you call this mainly containers actually uh, empty containers the ones that are in my cubby holes used to be in this um, in here in this shelf because this shelf used to be the entire shelf used to be exposed before i bought this table set and but now 
with the current layout of our room i can only have like three layers that i could access so the last well there's only one more shell, one more layer and then the floor so that so it, it still counts as two spots to put to put things in all of those contain um ways to organize my things so i just put them under so that in case i want to change things up change how i store my things again they're easily accessible to me and so there and yeah that's it and that's it that's my craft nook i hope you picked up some ideas on how to store your stuff or how to organize your stuff or where to buy these things that i use for organizing and let me know in the comments if you want to see something up close if you want me to do like a process video of how i stored things or like if you want me to do a review of some of the containers or whatever that you saw in my craft nook let me know in the comments i would gladly make those videos for you if it's something that's longish like more than five minutes i would upload it here on youtube otherwise i would post it in my facebook or instagram or just let me know where you want to see it actually and i would love to do that for you but just leave a comment down below to let me know okay and if you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up button to like this video and while you're at it why don't you hit that subscribe button so you get notified of my videos and that's it thank you for watching Bye!